Holoport allows you to be uh, your own version of Amazon Web Services. For the end user, you might know that Amazon Web Services is the most profitable part of Amazon's business and one of the fastest growing industries in the world. So we're here at the Malta AI and Blockchain Summit. There's a lot of interesting and fascinating projects here. Holochain, David, it's great to speak to you today. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, wonderful to be here today. Great to have you. Um, so I'd love to hear, first of all, 2019 has been a very busy year for Holochain. And I almost tried to start this conversation off air and we realized that our viewers should know what's been going on with Holochain too. What has Holochain been up to this year? Yeah, well, firstly, it's so exciting to be here on the invitation of a partner, so with Aeroband, one of the main sponsors, they're going to be building their aviation solution on Holochain. And that's the ideal for us is that, you know, Holochain being this framework for distributed applications, what we want to see is industries changing with our technology. So to come and have somebody promoting an aviation solution and thinking about how can the world of travel change and powering that on Holochain, that is my absolute ideal. So it's, a it's such a pleasure to be here in that context. In terms of the year, well, for those of you who know the project, we're building three things at the same time. So we're building this underlying framework for distributed applications. We're building a hosting business that does distributed hosting for the first time. And then through that, we're releasing a hosting currency, which is the first variable supply asset back currency. So all of that goes into one little thing that people are waiting for, which is the hollow ports being shipped to people's houses. And we're hoping to have an announcement about that soon, but we've been working like crazy to get all pieces in place so Holoports can get to the end users as fast as possible. And Holoports certainly sounds like something very exciting. So for people that might not necessarily be familiar with what it does, can you give our viewers a little bit of an inside scoop on, on what it provides for the end user? Absolutely. So Holoport allows you to be uh, your own version of Amazon Web Services. For the end user, you might know that Amazon Web Services is the most profitable part of Amazon's business and one of the fastest growing industries in the world, which is cloud computing. So the Holoport for the first time allows you to take with a little bit of hardware and software to become your own local Amazon Web Services. So you'll be able to host distributed applications that are powered by Holochain. And when those applications are paid for, so for example, it's distributed sharing economy app, then you'll earn Holofuel for hosting that application. So it allows the world of cloud computing to go mainstream and distributed. And I think something that really stands out for me when you tell me about this project is that it sounds like it kind of it combats the issue of, you know, financial inclusion is giving everyone a little bit more power and resources to accomplish greater things. Absolutely. And I think it's the underlying technology. There's a lot of people out there talking about digital identity, data ownership, privacy. And when you get back to the heart of their solutions, it, all the information is stored centrally. Somewhere in the chain, all the information is stored centrally. So Holochain, with the paradigm, distributed computing paradigm, stores that information at the source for the first time. So we think that it's going to be part of the next wave of the blockchain revolution. And now looking ahead to 2020, what can the Holochain community, what can they expect from, from you guys and the work you're going to do next year? Yep. So when the Holoports are out and tested, we start getting feedback from all of our users, the thousands of people around the world, about 60 countries using the Holoports. What we're gonna see is a wave of applications, some enterprise like Aeroband, some consumer, like we're gonna see people that say, hey, Telegram, it's cost nearly half a billion dollars to fund Telegram over the last five years. Imagine if we built Telegram on Holochain and it was zero cost. You know, so we're gonna get a whole bunch of those kind of applications, very busy app store and a lot of people hopefully earning a small living, being able to run a data center in their own house. It sounds very exciting, David. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a pleasure. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Well, that's all for myself and David. We'd love to hear how you found this interview segment. So share your thoughts with us online.